guys welcome back to my channel so first things first if I sound a little weird if my voice sounds like a duck right now if my energy seems a little low um, I'm just a little bit sick and I'm shooting this intro I did my makeup really quick put on a kind of nice outfit and I just want to shoot this intro really quick before I head back to bed <laughs> so in this video we are going to be doing something super fun we are going to be doing an entire bouquet of flowers using a celery head <laughs> so a couple of videos back I did this test out video where I tried to do the stamping with with veggies with I took a celery I took a lemon and I tried the stamping out um, into the canvas to make different shapes and the one that involved the celery was the flowers so if you take paint and paint on the celery and you put it on the canvas it'll give you this very pretty um, the pretty shape of a flower that you want so I did that video and I saw that it had a lot of potential to be something more so when you stamp the rose onto the canvas I saw what it was an outline for beginners to use to really get your feet wet when it comes to painting flowers because it gives you that outline that you want where you can just stamp it on the canvas and then you can just fill in the blanks and it'll create really beautiful looking petals so in my opinion I think that is a very good uh, head start a really good starting point if you want to get started painting flowers so who would have thought right <laughs> so in this video I'm gonna show you just that how you can take a celery head use it and create this very beautiful bouquet of flowers this was our final outcome hope you love it i'm gonna go back to bed <laughs> thank you so much for being here if i don't see you until the next year i really hope you have a wonderful christmas happy holidays happy new year i really hope this new year is a brand new a fresh start for you and that all of the endeavors all of the goals that you've set for yourself come true and that it all brings new wonderful brilliant new things for you and your loved ones. Thank you so much for being here. Enjoy this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you all on my next video. Bye guys. All right guys, so to get started, we're gonna go ahead and take a nine by 12 wrapped canvas like this. And we're gonna go ahead and take a color like this one, which is called Flesh. It's a very tan, very beige color. And we're gonna go ahead and paint a super simple, super pretty background to get our flower started. And for that, we're gonna go ahead and take a sponge and dab into that color and start painting it all around our canvas like so and we're also going to add a little bit of white too and just spread it all around our background All right, and I'm thinking I also want to add a little bit, just a couple touches of gold. So that's what we're going to do. Kind of like the thing that I did with my wedding bouquet, if you saw the last video. Just kind of take parts of that gold and just run them like that all around the back. Or in certain parts of the back, I'm sorry. Just add a few metallic touches to our background. course I'm keeping them around the edges because um, the flowers are going to be in the center Okay, so we're now going to get started with the fun part of this video and that is using our celery head to start painting our flowers. And the first color that we're going to use is of course just straight white. We're going to go ahead and take some white and just start painting right into the celery head. And I'm going to show you why in a second. 
So we're going to paint over it like so. Make sure to be kind of generous with the paint because it is going to soak up a little bit in the celery itself. So just be generous with that like so. Once we have that covered, we're going to go ahead and stamp it wherever we want our first rose to be and just kind of roll it around a little bit like that to make sure that every single part of the celery touches the canvas. If you even need to lift the canvas and make sure that everything is touching from underneath, you can go ahead and do that too. So once you're done, you just take it off revealing your rose and for me this won't actually be the rose itself but this will be the outline that we're going to use to paint the actual rose so if you've seen past videos of me painting roses you're gonna see a similar pattern where the outside layers of the rose are the lightest ones and then i go darker whenever i start painting the center parts of the rose so the white is going to be our our outline and i'm going to follow that to to where i'm going to put the darker colors in the rose so let me show you what i mean we're now going to take this rose rose pinky color right here it's a very light pink very beautiful and i'm going to take that in a smaller brush and just start going into the center portions of the petals and start blending that out into the into the um, outline that the celery created. And you can even start pushing the white paint to the sides to create a better looking shape to the petals. And you're gonna see that it's gonna start looking very pretty and resembling a real rose. So again, try to keep your darker colors going towards the center, towards the bottom of the petal where it starts, and then the outside portions where the white is, that's going to be your lightest colors. There we go. And we're just going to keep doing that all around until we get to our center. And for the center part of the rose, you just kind of have to wing it <laughs> a little bit and just remember what the actual shape of the rose looks like in the bud and just follow that. And again, trying to remember to keep your white portions as your outlines, your, that's going to be your outer edges of your roses and moving the paint around just to where you feel that it's taking the real shape of a rose. Now, if you get to a point where you see that the white paint is drying out and, and it's not blending as smoothly into the pink color, don't be afraid to take a little bit, like the tiniest bit of white to your brush and just go back into where the white is and blend it in manually. Just go like that to make for the smoother blend between the petals. If you grab too much white paint, you can always paint off the excess in your hand or in a palette. this is what our first rose looks like I hope you like it and now I'm just gonna repeat the entire process um, of what I just did with this first flower I'm gonna repeat that with the entire bouquet and I'm thinking of doing a kind of one two three four five six seven seven or eight or so roses all across um, and after that, we are going to go ahead and do the whole shebang of a bouquet of roses. And for the second rose, um, I'm also going to be uh, mixing in a little bit of this darker red paint. It's called 
barn red. So we're gonna go ahead and take that and just to do a mixture of different colored roses all around and create something very beautiful. Now that you know what the shape of the actual final rose looks like, you can move the celery around, rotate it a little bit just to get the shape of the final bouquet to be just what you want it. You can manipulate it and move the celery around. Um, maybe they can overlap over each other. Maybe the roses can be underneath one another and so on. Just have fun with it and at the end it's all by eye. You just eye the final bouquet that you want to go for and make that a reality. And this is the next color that I'm going to be using and it's just this color right here that I showed you before mixed in with white. Again, if your white is disappearing a little bit like that, you can just go back and don't be afraid to add a little bit more. Here is our second rose and we're just going to keep repeating the entire process once again.
All right guys, so this is how our bouquet looks like. It's all finished. Now what we're gonna do is just add a little bit of accents to it. Um, we're gonna add leaves around it, branches, just to make it look complete. And for that, we're gonna be using this brush. I used it in the wedding bouquet video and I really loved how precise and how easy to use it was. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and use it in this video as well and I'm just going to dip into some brown and green paint and create some branches along here and along here to make it look even more realistic and make the whole piece look complete. It's such a smooth brush and I love how how the actual look of the branches um, come out when using it. All right, that looks good enough. And now we're gonna go ahead and use another small brush like this one, like this one right here. And we're gonna go ahead and add some leaves. You know what, I'm actually gonna go back to our um, to our long brush, the one that I just used for the branches, and I'm gonna use that to paint the, the leaves as well. I just don't like how they're turning out with the other brush. Alright guys, so all I did off camera was just add a little bit of the branches on there, a little bit of the leaves, and just really make the whole bouquet complete. And this is our final outcome. Hope you love it. Hope you really enjoyed watching the whole technique with the celery head and how it really, in my opinion, it does help you achieve a very beautiful flower look. I kind of feel like it looks a little bit as watercolor painting. So I really hope you, you love it. I really hope you give it a try, give it a shot. And if you do, go ahead and let me know on social media. The links to all of that will be in the description down below. If you have any questions, you can also let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you out in the best way that I can. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Like this video and share it with your friends, family, any art lover out there that you know. Thank you again for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!